Yes, I think um, the dangers uh, we see from the, uh, the, the scope of the power that these companies are uh, holding right now. And that's why we are coming together that, first of all, we have to say that before talking about dangers, we also have to talk about all the opportunities uh, these uh, internet platforms have brought to us in terms of uh, the usage of enjoyment of freedom of expression. It's very important. But this is the scope uh, of the usage of this um, uh, freedom of expression online. The scope is so uh, huge and then um, this uh, brings with itself certain issues about how do we regulate certain harmful content and uh, so that uh, it should stay so that we don't uh, uh, infringe freedom of expression from one hand but at the same time we ensure other human rights like right to privacy, data protection and uh, for instance individuals rights not to be offended like defamation cases uh, and everything. So we have to, there should be very balanced approach in these cases and that's why the states um, who are the primary, um, who own the primary obligation towards human rights uh, also are concerned that how they have to deal with um, uh, regulation of internet uh, and the, when the, the companies itself have so much power and the policies in place.